Hello and welcome back to the Gubba Homestead. I'm Gubba and today I'm going to be taking you through homestead property security and what I am currently am doing out here on my homestead property. Recently I had a serious run-in with a neighbor invol involving a firearm and it kind of just put it into my head that the security that I have is not enough. So <laughs> I'm gonna be telling you guys about that story and I'm gonna just take you guys along and I'm gonna show you what projects I have going on, what projects I've completed, and show you what I got going on for security and how you can secure your house or your property. If you didn't know, I have four dogs. Three of them are mine full-time, one of them is part-time. I watch a dog for a friend for a few months out of the year. And I had all four of my dogs and they usually go out two at a time, and two of them were out. My girl Kintla, if you follow along with me on my stream over on Twitch TV, Gubba TV, or she's probably been in a few of these videos, I have a dog who I've had for three years. She is my everything, all of my dogs are, but especially she's like, she's like my child. Again, all of my dogs are, but for those of you guys who have followed along and know Kintla, you know my relationship with her and you can see how much I love my animals. I literally love them with my whole heart. A few weeks ago, two of my dogs were out and when they go out, they have tracking collars on them. They wear the Garmin Pro 550 Plus. I invested in really nice tracking devices so I can always see where my dogs are at. These collars are have a long antenna that then send their location to a remote that tells me how many yards they are. It actually even goes up to a couple miles. I can beep them, buzz them, shock them, and communicate with them that way. My dogs are really well behaved. I'm home all day. I check my dogs every, every like five minutes. I am at the door checking to see where my dogs are at. This particular evening, I came inside to change. I was gonna go run an errand. So it was literally like three or five minutes and I go check on my dogs, two of my dogs. And I see that they are quite a few hundred yards away and um, in the other field on my property. I look over, I can see them, but they're by the road and there's a car in the road and I just hear screaming and I hear gunshots. I immediately think, oh no, my dogs got out, they were chasing livestock and somebody's shooting them and they're yelling or they're, the dogs like came up to go sniff and say hi. They're literally not mean, but they went to go sniff and say hi to somebody on the road. They got out and somebody just decided to shoot them. Which by the way, if somebody ever shot and they did not have any proof that my dogs were attacking their livestock or attacking anybody, I would pursue legal action because you got to have proof. So yes, it is legal to shoot a dog if they are chasing your livestock, but you better have proof and you better be able to back that up. Anyways, so I see, uh, I'm hearing gunshots. I see my dogs are over in the area and I'm hearing yelling and I literally like, I was in the middle of changing and I went to go check my dogs. I didn't even have pants on. So I freak out, freak out. And I literally start screaming because in my head, like I just told you guys, my dogs are being shot. I'm going to cry thinking about it. And so I, I start yelling to God, not at God, but yelling to God, like, God, please no, like, please no. Like pleading with God that my dogs aren't shot. So I get out and uh, drive over in my farm utility vehicle, see what the frick is going on. And I see a neighbor who I've known, had a relationship with, have their gun out. My dogs are on my property. They got a deer. My neighbor didn't like that. So they said that they were shooting blanks. They weren't shooting blanks. They, what they meant by blanks is they were shooting their gun into the ground. So I understand, yes, it's safer to shoot your gun into the ground than the air. But was I over there? Do I know where this person was shooting their gun? How close were they shooting it to my dogs on my property? So it was really like traumatic, as you can tell, but it was a good lesson for me. And I learned that, oh my gosh, I have surveillance around my house. So when something moves around my house, I pick it up. I don't have remote surveillance. And I realized right then that was the biggest mistake I've made in this past year is not getting remote surveillance up. So I looked, there's trail cameras you can do. Um, 
There's also remote security cameras that you can use with SIM cards that hook up to Verizon or AT&T or T-Mobile that you can hang up. And um, my goal is to get it set up where every, every place around my property is under surveillance. And that is in the works right now. And along with that, I'm also um, hot wiring the whole entire perimeter of my property. I have half done right now. And today, me and you are gonna be hanging up these signs around my property, no trespassing, hunting or fishing, just like an extra warning. I'm not going to be showing where I have cameras hung up. That's for security. I don't want anybody to watch this and then know where on my property I have surveillance set up. But I'm gonna just show you guys how I have my fences set up and what I'm working on and how you can secure your property. I don't want anybody to be in a situation like I was not knowing what the heck is going on. Is somebody shooting your animals? Is somebody shooting your family? I don't want anybody to be in a situation like that. So let me take you through what I'm doing and let's head on out. This is one of the layers of security I have. This is just an Arlo camera. It's nice, it has a spotlight on it. Whenever anything moves, the spotlight pops on and it begins recording. These ones uh, operate on Wi-Fi, but there are Arlo cameras that operate on data. So like the Verizon, the SIM cards, and there's so many other types of cameras that also operate on data and trail cams and that sort of thing for your property or wherever you want to have surveillance. We are gonna use three inch box nails to hammer in the signs to the posts. I'm thinking this should work. I also have screws, but these are gonna be permanent and I don't want them to be taken down easily. So nails are the way to go. Like I said, the only maintenance I do for my fences really that I am getting set up is I'll go and check to make sure that they are still hot. So I drive out my farm utility vehicle, I'm with my dogs, and really my main focus is to make sure that my dogs are safe. I don't want them to escape because then that makes me liable. So I am literally doing everything that I can to make sure that my dogs are in a safe environment. Let's go put up the sign now. Where I'm pounding in this sign is near where the incident occurred. My dogs were in this field, my property. The neighbor didn't like what they were doing, decided to, you know, do what they did, which was not okay. So I just want to make it clear there's no trespassing. Hunting, fishing violators will be prosecuted. I was also regretting using a nail and a hammer for this, but it's more permanent, so I'm happy with that. This is my solar energizer that powers my electric fence. It's a Patriot SG-150. There's no maintenance really. All I had to do was pound in this grounding rod, connect the wires, and that's it. It po powers up to 10 miles. I absolutely love it that it's solar powered and solar charged. I literally have to do no maintenance to it. Just come out and check on it once in a while, make sure it's still on. If you ever need to check an electric fence, use the back of your hand, do not grab it, you will be so sad. I checked this with the back of my hand earlier. Another great way to secure your place is to always lock your gates. Get a chain, get a lock, that's not my code, don't worry, but have all of your gates locked. Do this, it's so easy. We are back inside, just hung up. The signs, I just videoed one because the other areas would have had revealing places, uh, revealing landmarks or my house. And I didn't want to put that in there, but I feel like I showed some good pointers of how to secure your property. Obviously this is a work in progress. Uh, the other night on stream, my chat mentioned getting like round barbed wire for the top of my fence like you see at jails and i'm totally not opposed to that but i don't think my fences are high enough deer would get caught yada yada but getting a hot fence like i said this can help prevent people hopping in animals and like i don't know it just makes me feel more secure having a hot fence go around and i feel like it would detour people like seeing a hot fence like make it more difficult to hop a fence and then locking your gates. I have locks on all of my gates, but I have been researching this as well. There's other more secure ways to lock your gates. Eventually I'd like to get like an automatic solar gate. I'd have to look into the security of that, but something that is more difficult to open than just like snipping the chain on the gate. There's like inside latches you can get. So hot fence, locking your gates, putting up cameras, trail cameras, 
upgrading your tra trail cameras, I wanted video. So to get video cameras that can operate on data that don't need Wi-Fi that can be remote, these are really great things for security. And then doing a constant upkeep, keeping an eye on things. Like I noticed on my lock, like there was a a spongy thing that covered where the code was. There was like a little rubber thing and that rubber thing was gone. So it was just like, hmm, that's kind of weird. I mean, probably coincidence, but keep an eye on your things so then you know if something is weird. Keep an eye on things being misplaced, like the direction. Take pictures of everything. I've learned that and you can go back and reference and I learned that from my dad. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it helps get you thinking about your security and you never end up in a moment wishing that you had cameras or some other sort of preventative barrier. And I feel very grateful and so very blessed that nothing happened to my dogs. I would be so heartbroken. Another side note that now I'm thinking about it, I also learned I need to have a dash cam in my farm utility vehicle. So dash cam is on the list. I'm probably going to be heading to the store to get one tonight and setting that up. I'll keep you guys posted on that. So don't do anything I got more to do. Thank you so much for watching this. I know it's probably going to be a long video. Yeah, have an amazing day. You guys are the best. Thank you for all of your support. Don't do anything you got more to do. Bye, you guys.